Something that's flat, like a piece of paper, we call 2D or two-dimensional. Something that we can hold or we can walk around is three-dimensional. It has a top and a bottom and sides. It has depth. That is 3D or three-dimensional. Take a minute and think. How can you make something that you draw on a flat piece of paper, which is 2D, how do you make it look like it's 3D? An artist can create an optical illusion that makes something look like it's 3D, even though it's on a flat paper. How could you do this? Let's start by observing something that is 3D. We'll look at this cylinder. If we look straight down, we only see the top. It looks like a circle. From the top, a cylinder would just look like a flat circle. But if we turn it, we can see more dimensions. Now we can see the top and the sides. The shape of the top changes too. Do you see how this top now looks like an oval? And we see two sides that come down from that oval and a curved bottom. If we turn it more, that oval becomes a flatter oval. If we turn it more, it becomes an even flatter oval. Now we see two straight sides and look at the bottom across. Is that a straight line? No, it is a curved line. The bottom curves just like the top curves in an oval. Even though we know that the top of our cylinder is actually round like a circle, we're going to draw it like an oval in order to make it look 3D on our paper. First, I'll draw an oval. Remember, this is practice, so don't worry if it's not perfect or draw lightly so you can erase it if you'd like. I'll draw two straight sides that come down from each side of my oval. Then I draw my bottom. Uh-oh. Does that look 3D to you? No, let's erase and try again. Observe, that's look carefully at my cylinder. That bottom, is that a straight line? No, it's definitely a curved line. Make sure the bottom of your cylinder is always a curve. It should follow or match the curve of that top cylinder. See, this time I'm gonna draw my sides going up instead of down. So my oval is the bottom, and now I'll make the top. <laughs> nope, I did it again. Okay, I need to make sure that the top is also curved so it matches that bottom oval. Draw at least five cylinders for practice. But Miss Adams, why are we drawing cylinders? What is the point of this? Well, kids, I'm so glad you asked. Cylinders are great because if you can draw a cylinder, you can draw a lot of things that look 3D. A lot of things start with a cylinder and when you add details, then you can turn them into whatever you like. 